sir. Don't worry, you can go. You can go. I will lock up when I'm through. Are you sure, sir? I can stay. I don't mind. Go, you can go. Don't worry. All right, sir. Hello, babe. You said you'd be here in five minutes. I've been standing outside for ten minutes now. What you said, baby? Hey, come on, what's wrong with you? No, can't you understand that I'm not in the mood? Lawrence, I am your wife, and I and I can have you anytime I want. That's all you ever think about. It's always about sex with you. I love you. That's why. Oh, come on, come on! It's not about love. You are an addict. The sooner you get help, the better it is for the both of us. You, you need, you need, you need to help. You need, you need especially somebody to help you out. I came from work. You, you, you took one out of me. One out of me, right in the bathroom. And what, what? You want one more? What's wrong with you? Damn. I'm going to find somewhere to work. I won't ask you for another one again. Lawrence, please. Lawrence! Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Yes, you are absolutely. Do you have an appointment? Yes, I do. Um, can you please give me your first name? Theresa. Um, last name? Lawrence Ogin. Oh, okay. You're his next appointment. Please have a seat. Thank you very much. Please, I would like to book for another section. Absolutely, no problem. Preferably for this weekend. Okay, let me check his schedule. Oh, he's fully booked this weekend. How about Monday? Oh, 
Just give me a call then. Okay, no problem. I'll give you a call and then I'll let you know all the available times for all next right. week. Have a nice day. You too. Have a lovely weekend. Okay. Bye. You can go in now. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello. You're welcome. Thank I'm you. Dr. Kola. I'm Theresa. My friend um, recommended you. She said you're very discreet. Absolutely. You're welcome. Please make yourself comfortable, okay? okay. You're in a safe territory. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad you find that time to come. Hmm? Be rest assured that whatever we'll discuss here will be treated with absolute confidentiality. Okay? Thank you. Good. <clears throat> I'm sure <clears throat> you must have an interesting story. Can you start by telling me why you are here? I'm a sex addict. Oh, sorry, please. You, you need something to drink? Like water, juice, anything? No, I'm fine. You're sure? Yes, can I go ahead, please? Please proceed. <clears throat> I'm married. I've got a beautiful daughter and a flourishing business, so it's the life I have always dreamt of. But despite having what may seem like a seemingly perfect life, there's a void, there's an emptiness that can never be filled. Can you be more divulging, please? I have an insatiable appetite for sex. I think about sex all the time. Are you... Are you thinking about sex, Ma? Yes. It's almost like... I have, to, I have this urge that I need to satisfy. This urge of excitement. And... Do you... Do you act it out? Yes. Despite being married to the best man in the world, I have to find ways to, to relieve myself of this excitement with other men. Okay. Now, relax. Relax. Tell me more about it. Are you done? Uh, no, I'm almost done. <sighs> You're even sweating. Huh? Maybe you should um, take a shower in my bedroom when you're done. Ah, shower cake. Ah, there's no need for that. <laughs> That's how this hour our work is. We always sweat. By the time I step out now and uh, uh, get some fresh air, I will, I will dry up. I'll be fine. So, I'll be fine. you don't want to spend some time with me to keep me company? <laughs> Madam. <laughs> Uh, There's no one at home. We can use the guest room. Uh, but uh, I'm still busy. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. You can go back to it. Yes. Thank you. 
Yeah, who's it? Oh. Hey. Um. My husband is not home. I know. But I came to see you. I've missed you, you know. Come on. Let me take you to the. Come on! Oh, oh, I can't see you. Come on, let's go there. Okay. I'm a very bad person. Sometimes, when I feel horny, and I don't get what I want, I go crazy. And how do you feel when you engage in this act? Ashamed. Okay. If truly you love sex this much, why do you feel bad? I know it's wrong. I know that one should treat one's body with dignity. I know that I'm putting myself in harm's way. Is that all? It is sinful. It is shameful. And I have a daughter. I don't, I don't want to bring shame to her. Okay. <coughs> Let me ask you. Did you come for therapy just to feel feel sorry or sympathetic for yourself or you came to seek for help of course i need help my family is at the verge of breakup I, I i don't want that to happen i i don't want to lose my family when <clears throat> when did you realize that this your your sexuality it was becoming a problem for you and your family I got married and it wouldn't stop. I had my daughter and it still didn't stop. No matter how perfect my life seemed, no matter how beautiful it looked on the outside. And did you try to get help? Yes. I joined this, this help group. They made me feel welcome. There were people that had the same problems that I have. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now, tell me. Tell me more about this group. It was a great fellowship. There were people like me. I follow the rules, I follow the steps. I try to stay sober, but do you have anything to share? You are among friends. You can tell us. Hi, my name is Teresa, and I am a sex addict. I am 33 years old, and I've been a sex addict for as long as I've been alive. You are not alone, Teresa. We are all addicts. But you know, despite the debilitating effect addiction has on the psyche and on relationships, 
psychologist still does not recognize hypersexuality, a dysfunctional preoccupation on sexual fantasies as an occasion. Currently, it is still being regarded as a chronic or borderline personality disorder. Just because sex is a normal behavior, people think that if we attach a medical terminology like addiction, then it pathologizes it. But because we recognize our addiction as a problem, and by applying stringent daily plans, we can together overcome My name is Uko. I am a sex addict. You are not in me. We are in this together. The more I listen to those people's stories, the more I realize that I am in the right place. We can help each other. I love the feeling. The thrill, the adventure, it became so powerful that I started to go to the meeting late and return home late. I could not control the urges. It was so powerful, so powerful. It started to control my life. I, um, I had to stop going to the meeting. You're home early, darling. How was your Where day? Where are you coming from? Um... You would, you've suddenly gone dumb. Can't you, can't you speak? Are you deaf? Can't you speak? Uh, 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 um, Lawrence. Go! Don't Lawrence me. Do not Lawrence me. I ask you a simple question. Where are you coming from? I called you several times. You didn't pick up. I'm sorry. Look, I don't need your apology. What I need is an answer from you. I, um, I, I went to church, so I couldn't, um, I couldn't answer my phone. Church? Yes. So why didn't you call me to let me know you were going to be running late? Didn't you think I would? Be worried about you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. It's okay. I found this in the guest room. And? It's not mine. 
Then whose is it? I was hoping you would tell me then. Well, I don't wear singlets. You're the only one who wears singlets in this house. Look, Teresa, we live in this house alone with our five-year-old daughter. Then maybe we should ask her who owns this, unless you're implying something. So you mean this singlet walked into this house, walked itself into the guest room, and hung itself in the wardrobe? Lawrence, I don't wear singlets. You are the only one who wears singlets in this house. So, it must be yours. This is not my singlet! Don't insult me. The stench. I can't even tell what labor, whatever is on it. I can't even tell who has this. And it smells of some weird perfume or whatever. Theresa. Whose singlet is this? I don't know, Lawrence. If it's not yours, then I don't know whose it is. God. Is this what you do? Is this what you do when I'm not around? Bring different men into our house? There is, we have our five-year-old daughter in this house! Are you? Understand. Is this a mere addiction or is it a behavioral disorder? I, I, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to understand it. <laughs> My dear, you see, while the causes might not be fully established or known, but it is widely believed that um, sexual addiction is derived from early uh, childhood or adolescence. You know, mm. as a result of um, a kind of trauma, especially physical trauma or emotional trauma that a child passed through while growing up. And in this case, it is pertinent that you realize that sexual abuse, physical abuse, and depression are the major cause of sex addiction. I want to find out. Did you suffer from any of this as a child? Mr. George, my junior high school teacher. Who is Mr. George? Tell me, what did he do to you? Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Any problems? Thinking about it alone has opened up old wounds. Old wounds that never healed. Come, come on, just take it easy, okay? You see, <clears throat> while the root causes might not be fully established, you see, sexual addiction is one of the most difficult addictions to overcome. Why? Because <clears throat> compulsive sexual addiction is derivable from that mechanism that norms that difficulty. For the addict to, to come to terms with and to realize that he can actually overcome it. Yes? And until he does, he will not be able to overcome that inner wound, you know, that has 
kept him or her in such in depth net that he is or she is in. It's so easy for you to say. I know. I know, but you must realize one thing. That constant therapy, I mean, after some weeks of therapy, you come to terms with it. How can I come to terms with something that is killing me on the inside? <laughs> My dear, you see, you are as sick as your secrets. You have to realize that you must be able to tell out this secret. The more you keep the secret, the more you suffer. Yes. So you must find someone that you can trust to relieve this secret too. So that you can free yourself. You can free your mind. And until you do that, you still be caught in this web. This trauma, this emotional pain that you are going through. You must let it out. The, the moment you let it out, the freer you become. Darling, you're home early. How's work today? Baby, I started therapy today. I met with a therapist. I thought I should let you know. I have another session tomorrow.
If at any point in time you feel uncomfortable, let me know. We can stop, okay? Mr. George was my teacher in junior secondary school. I was in GSS 1 when it started. It is way past closing hours. All the teachers have gone home except me. And you know the government does not pay me for extra hours, right? But sir, it was it as if we need extra classes. That's because your classmates are slow learners. They are daft and almost unteachable. Uh, but, but no issue, my Teresa. <laughs> Sweet, man. <laughs> uh, you are way more intelligent than the entire class. Uh, you know that, right? Exactly. <laughs> uh, why don't you just chill and uh, let's go through this classroom together? While I'm Mark, you help me record this course. Okay. I know you must be very tired, and uh, I'm going to get you some stuff when you're done. Then. Uh, I'll give you some pocket money for the trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, sir. Are you scared? No, sir. You'll be scared, Teresa. You're no longer a kid. And besides, you know, I like your head. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I want to go home. If I don't get home early, my mom will get angry. Oh, come, 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 come off it. Come off it. I will personally take you home and explain to your mom why I keep you beyond your usual time. Alright? Just relax. Oh, eh? I'm supposed to be home right now. Calm down. Take me to Calm down. Calm down. So much for those on the book, you know. You told me to. Say, I have to take it. Calm down. Leave. He was persistent. He touched me inappropriately. I told him to stop. I was going to run away. And then suddenly, he stopped and apologized and said it would never happen again. Then he asked me to accompany him home to help him carry the test scripts home. Uh, thank you. Put the books on the table there. Okay, sir. Sir, I don't know what you asked me to do. Uh, sir, I won't. What a push. Stay a little while and then you get to something. No, sir. Thank you. But I need to go home. My mom is waiting for me. Um, uh, Teresa, sit on that bed. Sir, I need to do something for my mom. Sit in the Talk to you! Sir, I need to go.
I hope you're not too late to worry about us. Teresa, I am your friend. And you're my friend too. You know that, right? Too nice for yourself. And any time you did anything, it was going straight to me. Alright? Do you understand? Mr. George ruined me. He turned me into a hungry man eater. I kept going back for more. And each time he would take advantage of me and then give me money to shut me up. In my ignorance, I was using sex as a crutch to cope with other life issues. Stop now. How you lit on my panto? <laughs> it's always a delight to be with you, my dear. Jerry, you always flatter me. No. I'm being very sincere, my dear. So, who are you thinking with me? Very soon. That was what you said the last time. No, I know. But you need to understand that I'm walking towards it. As soon as my family is out of the country, we can go anywhere you wish. Are you sure? I'm very sure. Okay, so let's go.
So, why did you steal from him? I don't know. We had just met at a nightclub. I asked him if he wanted to have a taste of me and he said yes, so we just got a room. Do you know his name? No. Just like I don't know the names of so many people I've had stuff to do with. Like how many? Too many. Too many to count. See, Mr. George turned me into a wild dog. I hate myself. I hate myself for what I am. But I hate him more for what he did to me. I can understand how you feel. I really do. You see, <clears throat> a study of people with sex addiction shows that 30% of people suffering from sex addiction manifest from childhood or adolescence based on emotional abuse. While 60% of people suffering from sex addiction comes from sex abuse as children, which is your own case. While the remaining 10% suffer from physical abuse. And this set of people with these traumatic experiences manifest in different forms yes based on their traumatic experiences abusing a child is unforgivable the trauma and side effect is so devastating you see i want to assure you one thing that as you go through this therapy, in a few months' time, your recovery will be fully possible. That I can assure you. Hello? Sir, it's past 5 p.m. Your session with Miss Lawrence was supposed to end five minutes ago. Hello? Sir? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Just, just don't worry. I know, I know, I know it's, uh, it's past time, but don't worry. I'll, I'll take care of everything. You can go. Are you sure, sir? I can stay. I don't mind. No, don't worry. You can go. You can go. I'll lock up when I'm through. Okay, sir. Good night, sir. Hey, babe. Yes, I just wrapped up from work. Okay, babe. See ya. I will help you.
I don't want to keep you. Come on, don't worry. I will give you one more hour, okay? You see, this is your story. If it was told from a man's perspective, it would have been a different thing. You have slept with several men, men that you hardly know. That is why I said, if it was a man that was telling this story, oh, you because, to. come on, I'm trying to turn you on. Please, I need to leave. Come on. Baby, what's your problem? See, don't you want me? You listen to me. You listen to my story with so much attentiveness. You showed me empathy and... Come on. Why don't you want me? Huh? Why? But listen. See, I love you. I want you. I, I will give you anything you Are want. Are you listening to yourself at all? Is this a part of a therapy? Or you're just some sick animal taking advantage of unsuspecting and vulnerable clients? Teresa, what's, what's your problem? What is your problem? You have slept with all kinds of men. Cobra, tenors, plumbers, drivers, old men. See, look at me, look at me. I am a professional therapist. You are unbelievable! I, listen, I, 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 I will give you anything you want. I am I'll... not a prostitute! Ah! You slap me! Yes! How dare you do it? Over and over again! <laughs> ah! Ah! Hello, babe. You said you'd be here in five minutes. I've been standing outside for ten minutes now. What happened? He, he tried to rape me. And I, and I pushed him. I, I pushed him into the bed. He hit his head on the side of his desk. Is he okay?
Go ahead, I'm listening. I I didn't mean for it to happen. It wasn't self-defense. Self-defense? My husband is not a rapist. He was a good man. That woman is a deranged psychopath. And I hope she rots in the prison. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Badmos. I'll take my leave now. I want her to pay for the crime she has committed. I want justice for my late husband. Do you understand me clearly? I do understand you, Mrs. Badmos. But the outcome of the court case depends solely on the court. There is nothing much I can do. Detective, I want her to be in prison for what she has done. Whatever it's going to cost me, I'll do it. Take my advice, Mrs. Badmos. Get yourself a good lawyer. And please, if you can, trust the judicial system. Have a nice day. Listen, my dear, I need your help. That lunatic, after killing my husband, she still goes about destroying that good image we have built for so many years. And I cannot watch and see her destroying that good name. So what can I do, ma? I want you to be a witness at the court in order to prove Carla's innocence. Ma, I didn't really see anything. Dr. Kola was already dead when I got back to the office. You are the only main witness, my dear. So, do you want me to lie? You've known my husband for so many years. Don't you see what is going on? Does it look like something he would do? So what do you want me to say? Listen, my dear. Hello, sir. Yeah, hello. It's five minutes past five. Your session with Ms. Lawrence was supposed to end five minutes ago. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, I didn't know. I was oblivious of the time. No problem, sir. Ah, okay, you know what? Please, just, just come, come in. Come to my office. All right, sir. Oh. My secretary just informed me that my time meeting has elapsed and unfortunately I have some other thing to attend to. So we have to reschedule, okay? Okay, give me a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. Come in, come in, come in. Yes, sir. Yes, you said I have another appointment for 5.30. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, you have to reschedule that appointment. I have to leave office immediately. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, please, okay, sir. thank you. Uh, just spare me a bit of time. I promise it won't take long. Let me, I have something very important I need to discuss with you. Okay. Just, just give me one minute. Okay? Just one minute. Okay, sir. I'll join you. Okay. Yeah. 
Hello, babe. Okay, no problem. I'll meet you outside. Bye. Hello, babe. You said you'd be here in five minutes. I've been standing outside for ten minutes now. sure this will turn the case in our favor my dear listen she does not have any evidence against my late husband he's just full of lies and false accusation against my late husband but i know with time the only one will know that she's the true murderer of my husband my father is a pastor i'm expected to live up to his expectations what are you asking me to do my dear, you're doing this for your late boss. You know him. He was a kind man. He was a good man. I'll do it. So what is your case, ma? Will you discuss the matter? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you Do you recognize this? You're going to be so sorry for yourself when my father gets here. You think I'm one of those people you can intimidate and just treat anyhow? If you wish. This statement was written and signed by you on the above stated date. Now the problem is, this statement contradicts your testimony in court yesterday. So I asked myself, what did I miss? Because it's either this statement is false or your testimony was. But whichever way, perjury is the serious crime under the law. And according to section 118 of the criminal code, any person who commits perjury is liable to 14 years imprisonment or life imprisonment. So do not play your mind intelligence. <laughs> Inspector, 
I, I gave this statement the very same day I just found out my boss had died. I was not in my senses. I was not in the very frame of mind. I was in shock. I only gave this statement because the police were pressurizing me to say something. But I've had time to think about it now. And I've really collected my thoughts together. And everything I said in court was the absolute truth. So you're telling me that she intentionally killed him? Yes. She intentionally murdered him. And I stand by that 100%. Yes. So there is a man in the hall making a lot of noise. He says he will not come unless he sees you. They call him Pastor Osando. He threatened to call the commissioner of police if he did not release his daughter. Send him to my office. Sure, sir. Yes, Pastor Doctor George Osando. See, I'm the common man. George Osando. Did you say your name is Mr. George Osundu? Yes. Is there a problem? No, not exactly. I'm just going through some details. Did you happen to teach at community secondary school within the year 2000, 2005? I did? Why? What's going on? Why are you asking me all these questions? Not to worry, sir. Your daughter will be released to you shortly. Cobra! Stop! Bring me the girl. Yes, sir. Excuse me. CSS Oka, between the year 2000 and 2002. You raped me, and you did so for three years. What is wrong with this woman? Why do you go about defaming people? I mean, now you want to slander my dad the same way you did my boss? You ruined my life, Mr. George. My marriage is in shambles, and I'm about to go to prison for what you made me become. Mrs. Badmos was right about you. You are a strange lunatic. Is it really you? 
She took a part of me. It was not yours to take. I was a little girl. Oh. Beautiful dreams. Beautiful life ahead of her. We took it all. That life, that dream. You broke her. How dare you make such allegations against my dad? I hate myself every single day, Mr. George. I hate my life and every part of it is so senselessly diminished. I know you can see the pain in my eyes. I have never been the same since she broke me. And I probably never will be. It's been a long time. I'm a change man now. I feel so terrible. Deep. Is this anyway? Anyway? I'm beginning to make things right. Do do it. Doki! Inspector, I don't want to be here anymore. You're nervous, Mr. George Osundu. It was not to keep rape of Mrs. Teresa Lawrence. No! You have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you don't have money, we will provide you one. Please come down. Please, 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 I beg you. I, I will tell you the whole truth. I beg you, don't take my father. I beg you, I will, I will tell the truth. I lied in my testimony. I lied because Mrs. Barbara asked me to do it. She asked me to protect her husband's reputation. In fact, Mrs. Lawrence is innocent. She's not even the first client that Mr. Kola has tried to use. I beg you, please spare my father. Leave him out of this. Please, I beg you. I will tell everybody the truth. I will come back. I beg you. It's not so. Please. You're both under arrest then. Stand up. Oh. Father, I don't. 